hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to create this text effect with pixel lab without further ado let's get into the video okay um the first thing i want to do is this is the text effect that we're going to be recreating um the first thing i want to do is just to copy the color codes from here so that i can use it's what i want to do okay um I'll create a new project and uh, I'll choose the color of the background. If you want to use the same color, it's um, E80F24. Okay, so um, I'll be using this font. I sorry, I want to check the text here. Feeling blessed. Okay, so I'm going to write feeling. feeling blessed all right so next thing i'll do is to go back to my font and then choose the font we'll be using the font i used was coluna coluna rounded okay so i'll just scale this up and then align it to the center and justify it I reduce the spacing just a bit and then I reduce the line spacing. Okay, um next thing I want to do is to add a stroke to this. I'll increase the I'll increase the stroke width by this amount. And then I'll go over to 3D text and then I'll choose oblique. And you can see this. Many people have issues with their um, emboss. But um, just few people do. If you have issues, there are some videos that can help you to um, rectify that. Okay, so this just adds a level of um, depth to the text uh, you can change the rotation i'll put it at this um point here all right so um i'll go back to perspective and then i'll raise this up a bit and then i'll raise this up too all right so we have this thinking the stroke is too much so i'll just reduce the stroke okay this is be better so um what i did next was to create um just a custom shape um by the way if you've not watched my videos on custom shapes how to create custom shapes with pdl lab um use the link up to watch it Okay, so um, I'll just put this here. I'll copy it and put it here. I want to create a star with this. Make sure it's aligned to the grid lines very well. And here. Alright, so just merge everything up. and go over to your erase color and then erase the black part out okay after doing that um change the color to yellow all right and then uh, can place this here i added a stroke to it a black stroke why i don't like the stroke is because of the edges it's making it to be um having a flat edge instead of a sharp edge so i just reduce it and then place it to be on this black part so that it is not that visible okay um i'll copy it 
and I'll place it here. I'll reduce the size a bit. I'll copy it also and then I can place it anywhere else or you can place it anywhere else that you want to. I'll reduce the stroke a bit and just I think here will be okay. You can also remove the stroke to just put it on the shape or on the text, but I'll leave it like this and maybe create the last one that will just be here. I'll turn off the stroke on this one. Okay. Now we have the text effect. This is just a simple text effect that I just wanted to show you guys. Um, it's very easy to do in under few minutes, just like we did this one. Um, if you wanted to have a comical or a comical style, like an artwork to it, um, you can bring in some um, comic. Um, style of effect to it. Um, this is called a line bust. If you are looking for it on Google, it's called line bust. So it used to create a kind of um, action to whatever you are doing. So um, sorry, I'll just. Um, okay, so reduce your opacity a bit. It's still there. You can see it's just a bit. So yeah, that'll be all, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking around to the end of this video, and I hope you learned something new. I'll see you in the next video.